This is a Bluetooth speaker. It is one of many practical applications of electromagnetism in Maxwell's equations that you can find anywhere. Similar to radio, satellite communications, and telecommunications, this is wireless. But how? How can it transmit its data over the air like that? Wireless technologies work on the principles of electromagnetism, which have been defined by the four Maxwell's equations for over 150 years. We'll start with a simple antenna, the dipole antenna. This is a very crude model of what a dipole antenna may look like. See, you have two wires facing away from each other at 90 degrees, and what you typically do is you run a voltage through them. Now, the voltage on the wires would create an electric field which would be changing as the voltage changes. And this changing electric field would then propagate through space, almost like dropping a rock into an ocean. Now, this changing electric field, according to Ampere's law, will produce a magnetic field uh, around it. And this is what we call electromagnetic radiation. Well, how about receiving radio waves? Well, if you have an antenna in an electromagnetic field, it's going to produce a voltage. But what about unwanted signals, such as those coming from household wiring or even those coming from microwave radiation in space? Well, the way we can fix this is with a so-called LC tank circuit, which consists of an inductor and a capacitor in parallel. The inductor will filter out all the low frequencies, while the capacitor will filter out all the high frequencies, leaving us with only one frequency, known as the resonant frequency, which can be calculated using the capacitance and inductance values. So right here, I actually have a practical application of uh, wireless transmit, uh, transmitters and receivers. Um, right over here, we have a broadcaster, and over here, we have a receiver. Now, I'm going to take out my phone and I'm going to play a constant signal through the transmitter and we should be able to pick it up on the receiver. Now, it's very slight, but you can hear it. It's incredibly dim, but it is audible.